doesn't matter We've had our thick and thin Enough to know that I would rather not go through Life without you Chico and Poppy here with Poppy getting ready to make another meal. Today I'm going to be making, what is it called? I used to call it Bobby's Robbie's Sausage and Shells, but now that I'm Poppy, I think we should call it Poppy's Robbie's Sausage and Shells. And what we're going to have is we're going to have six or eight sausage links with the casings removed. I have one large onion. I have three or four uh, diced uh, cloves of garlic. I have a little bit of parsley that I chopped up. I have two cups of a real good chicken broth. Don't forget to check out our bases because the bases that I use are the best out there. And then I have some broccoli rob. And you guys, if you've watched my one episode, Italians like their beans and greens and uh, broccoli rob, we call Robbie's, is one of our favorites. And I have a meal here that includes this. Okay, and then we're going to be using some uh, shell pasta. You can see it here. I've already cooked it ahead of time. See the shells? These are a little bit big. I probably would have gone a little bit smaller if I had one, but I didn't. All right, let's get started with 100% olive oil and get this sausage cooking, okay? sausage is almost done. We're going to be doing, just like we do our other recipes, we're going to be doing everything in layers. And the first layer is going to be the sausage. We're going to get this sausage. Now, this is a uh, mild sausage, but I prefer with this recipe to use a hot sausage. It gives it a nice kick. A lot of people um, don't like Robbie, uh, the broccoli rob, because it's very bitter. I know my kids don't like it. I never liked it growing up. It's an acquired taste, and what happens with the Italians is that they're always making beans and greens, so you're always trying it and trying it and trying it and trying it, and what ends up happening is eventually your taste buds come to, to like it. Mercy was like that. When I first uh, gave her the, the beans and greens, the Robbie's and beans, she couldn't stand it, and little by little, she now is like the rest of us Italians, and she likes it. So this, the greens are bitter. I mean, you could use a different green if you'd like to, but um, it's just a good recipe. And the sausage is gonna kind of uh, get rid of some of that bitterness. All right, this sausage is just about done here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just get this off of the pan here. This is our first layer. Okay, I'm gonna put the onions in. More olive oil. This is a nice meal, and it's uh, what I would call a uh, light meal. It's not very filling, it's nice and light, it doesn't have a thick sauce. I looked for a large onion. I really didn't have a real large onion, so this onion is a little bit small for me, but it'll work. 
you make do with what you have. As long as you have the basics, always remember the basics. The basics is 100% olive oil and fresh ingredients. That's the biggest secret to cooking Italian. Nice fresh ingredients, 100% olive oil, and you gotta give it some love. You can't just uh, cook by a recipe. You gotta give that extra time. Extra time means doing layers and stuff and not just throwing everything in one big pot real quick and stirring it up and trying to get done quick. You really got to give it that extra attention and that's what makes the difference from a good cook to a great cook. Alright, these onions look like they're getting just about ready so I'm going to put this sausage back in the pan. Okay, we got nice flavors in here. We got onions, we have sausage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add those rabies, the broccoli rabe. Okay, and I'm going to try to mix this up a little bit so that we can get it all incorporated. Otherwise the onions and the sausage will be down on the bottom cooking and cooking and the Robbies won't be able to get any of that heat. So mix it up the best you can and these Robbies will very quickly start to sweat. Robbies used to be something that uh, my mother and I, we were like the only ones that ever bought them in the store. But uh, I've noticed over the last couple years, people are starting to buy them. The, all the stores are starting to sell them. So I think that acquired taste is starting to come around. I don't know how other people are cooking them. They can't all be Italian, right? Now see how nice this is starting to look? See the color? And then we're going to put this over pasta. How can you go wrong? You know what we need? We need a little salt and pepper. Not too much salt. You know I don't like to use too much salt, if at all. But the Robbies always need some salt. And I always like the fresh ground pepper. All right, now we can add our garlic. Now I'm going to bring this down to a simmer and I'm going to add the chicken broth. Alright. We're going to just let this simmer 10-15 minutes, alright? Just to make sure that our Robbies get cooked all the way through. What I'm going to do too is I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to this that's going to get mixed into our chicken broth and it's going to make this really come to life. Okay, I'm going to put a cover on this and I'm going to let this on a, uh, cook on a low simmer 10-15 minutes, okay? All 
All right, guys, it's been 10, 15 minutes. Got this on a low simmer. Everything is incorporated, everything is done. Looks good, smells good. Instead of heating up my pasta, I think I have enough room in here where I'm gonna just add it right to everything. Let's see if we can't do that. I think we have enough room to do it. go. I'm going to add a little bit more Parmesan cheese here to the top. Here we have Poppy's Robbie's Sausage and Shells. I'll add a little bit of parsley here and just a little tiny bit more Parmesan cheese. Uh, I will probably add a little crushed red pepper here to mine because I don't have Italian hot sausage and I like a little spice to this. But there you have it. Doesn't that look nice? Robbie's shells and sausage. All right, remember what Grandma Jen used to always say, enjoy your life and your food every day. Ciao.